I think that people were incorrectly assuming that they were applying the precautionary principle to all of this. So they were thinking, okay, well, you know, the worst case scenario is what we should be going by. And that's because they were thinking in one dimension, which is we've got to some, do whatever it takes to stop this pandemic from unfolding because it is compatible with the idea that 1% of the population will die if it, it just unfurls. What they were missing was the fact that the, these very measures that they were seeking to employ to stop the spread were ones that came at a very huge cost. So, and that was known at the time. What we didn't know is whether those measures would stop the spread and even if they did, what effect that would actually have eventually on the final death toll. But what we absolutely knew for certain, because it was happening in front of our eyes, is that these lockdowns would cause people to die. People were already dying from not being able to sell toys in the pavement in Delhi and being told to go back home to their villages. So the costs of lockdown were known, the benefits of lockdown were completely unknown. And under those circumstances, what you should be doing, if you're adopting the precautionary principle, is to not go with lockdowns, but think of other solutions.